Hi, this is Tweek. I was asking myself, why do I do things for my friends? Why do any of us do anything for our friends? And I think it's because we want them to know that we care about them. So I came up with an idea of a purse angel. And it's just a little thing that they can have. And when they look down, they can know that they're well thought of and they have a friend that cares about them. If you have any friends, and I'm sure you do, come along with me and we'll make some purse angels. And you can let them know how much they mean to you. So my idea of making beaded angels starts with what kind of beads do I have on hand to create the angel. Uh, there's a basic formula for making any beaded angel and we start out with a three inch pin, which is a piece of wire with a little flat end on the bottom. That is the basic spine of the, of the angel. And then we have a little catcher bead that goes on the bottom of the pin to keep the other beads from falling off. And then we have the body bead which basically makes up the body of the piece. And then we have a neck bead. This is my <laughs> terminology for how we make these. Then I have a head bead and a, a halo bead. And then one more bead on the top as a finisher. Depending on what beads you have on hand will determine how your angel comes out in the end. So let's start making some. We'll take our three inch pin and we'll place a tiny silver bead on the bottom. Actually, start stringing on the bead. That keeps all other beads from falling off the pin. Okay, we take a body bead, place over the top. Take a bead that I call the neck bead. As I put this together, you'll see more, it becomes more of a neck. Then I take a head bead, which represents the head of the angel and a halo bead, and then a topper bead, which just finishes it off. Finished almost? Almost. Using my pliers, I will cut off excess pin. I'm gonna leave about a finger's width, that's maybe a half an inch of wire there on the top, and I'll snap that off. Excess is gone, and I take a curling pliers and I curl this top wire in to make a little loop. Here we go. Then the next step is to pull a ring piece. I open it up a little bit so I can slip the ring on there. Ring. And I'm going to crimp that shut very gently so it meets the base. And we have our first angel. How do we get them onto somebody's purse? Then we need a lanyard snap. Lanyard snap and snap that on. And there we have our first angel that you can hang on any purse. What if you'd like to get a little more complicated in your design? Let's try a bead what about this bead? Now this bead comes with some problems, well, beautiful problems. It has a big hole in the center, so when I use my three inch pin, it is going to, you have to find out where the hole is because the design, poke it through and guess what? Oh, falls through. So you need to find a stopper that will keep that from happening. And it has to be something big enough. I've got the silver bead here. That's gonna plug the hole. It sits nicely on the, on the pin. Gotta let this one stick. And there we go. That's pretty. You still have the problem of a big, giant, wobbly hole on the top. So we wanna to try to fill that with something. And what I came up with was another neck bead. I'm sure that's not what they're called, but that's what I call them because they're the angel's necks. And I put that over the top, and it hides the hole, and it makes it look like, oh, she's got a beautiful neck. And then I add another bead top to make it look even more ornate. At least I think so. Then we've got a clear little crystal head. 
and then I'd like a pretty halo. We're doing the same process, we're just dealing with the beads in a different manner because, well, it's a different bead. Then I had this little decorative piece that I thought looked pretty because it fits inside the halo bead and then the topper bead. So same process, different beads, so you need to play around with them as you're creating because if we hadn't have put that initial bead in the bottom to plug that hole, none of this would have stayed on the, the pin. Here we've got excess. I use my finger as a guide. It's about half inch. Cut off the excess. Okay, take your roller wire and roll it down to meet the top there. Okay, leave enough space to add a ring, put a ring on there, and then crimp. And you've got another beautiful angel, at least I think so. And we need a lanyard snap, there we go. And there you have another angel, isn't she pretty? Very, very sparkly. So far we've made a basic design and we've made a little fancier, heavier design. Now I'd like to go with a more delicate design and it goes as such. You take your three inch pin and stop your pin. I'm putting a clear pin. It's gonna act like the base of the body, but then I'm using some of these other pins or tops to create a different effect. And by the time we get done here, it will look almost as if this little angel has a, a gown on. It's like a, starting to look like a little witch's hat or dress. <laughs> and there's the neck bead. There's a tinier head bead. Let's see where we're going. And there's a tinier halo bead. A topper bead. Time to snip off the excess. Curl it under. Add the ring. I left myself more space to add it this time. And crimp it so it doesn't fall off. I like to let the two pieces meet and don't crimp it too far. And we add our lanyard snap. And look at that. Isn't that pretty? First angels are a fun way to let your friends know that you think that they're special and that they take a little piece of you with them when they travel around and have one hanging off their purse. If you want to, you can also take one of the angels and string her on a necklace. That's one of the purse angels I made. Purse angels. They're fun to make, they're fun to give, and they let your friends know that you care. If you like what you've seen today, give us a like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you and I'll see you again next time.